Hello everyone, welcome back. I have a different kind of video today. Um, so, a few days ago I was watching YouTube and I was randomly recommended a video. Um, I do like these mini verse balls. I don't have a large collection of them or anything. Um, just because I don't feel like I'm very good at making the projects, but they're still cute. They're a cute thing. They're sized pretty well for most of my fashion dolls. Um, so I've picked them up here and there as I've felt like it, but this video that I came across was actually like a cheat code to, um, make sure that you're getting the ball that you want because these are surprise balls and I prefer to know what I'm buying, which is kind of another reason why I haven't collected a lot of them up until now. Um, and I don't have that many today anyway, but I did want to film today my opening of this just to see if the cheat code works. Um, basically what it is, is, oh, also I'm wearing gloves because I get psoriasis on my hands sometimes. And so I'm just covering that up. Um, I figured my hands would be in this video a lot. So, um, every once in a while you'll see videos with gloves on, but anyway, um, so basically what the code is, is a little pin prick, um, or a little marking that is supposed to tell you, depending on where it is on the ball, oops, there, depending on where it is on the ball, it's supposed to tell you what is inside the ball then. Also, sorry, my, my Simba boy's here, so <laughs> just off screen, he might come back on screen. But, um, so this one, there's a little marking right here. And so this should be the Oreo pie, hopefully. I will go ahead and um, post the reference photo that I use for this as well here so that if this does happen to be the Oreo pie, and if this <laughs> code is consistently right, you can use it for yourself. Um, I'll, I'll also go ahead and... Um, either comment or tag the initial video that I saw talking about this hack, um, as well as the Reddit post that I then used to find the, um, the actual, um, like code that I used when I was in the store. See, I'm trying to do this on camera so that you know I don't like switch it out or anything. <laughs> Um, for a different ball, and it's hard to do with the gloves on. <laughs> anyway. Sorry about that. I never really expect these zippers to work. It's nice when they do, but they hardly ever do, so I don't get my hopes up. <laughs> Simba, you helping? You helping, bud? <laughs> Hi. Ooh, sorry about the shaking camera. Trying not to hit it, but I am not being successful. All right. Ooh, first layer. Let's do the second layer here. I'm gonna scratch the ball, that's probably okay. Let's try it from the bottom here. Sometimes that works a little better. There we go. Oop. Sorry. I promise it's the same ball. <laughs> I just knocked the camera so it was shaking. All right. Go ahead and open this guy up. Okay, so this one I am looking for the Oreo pie. Um, the store that I found these at, we're almost sold out now. I mean, it's a little bit late. This is um, the Series 2 Diner. They already have had Series 3 out for a while, so I'm not surprised that they were almost sold out. But out of the ones that were left, um, this is the one that I was most interested in. Um, all right. So let's go ahead. We have... I'm not even going to really look at this <laughs> because um, I want to just be surprised if it is it or not. Let's just look at all of our bags. So it looks like we have 
one, two, three, four, five bags, and then, well, six with the spoon there, or the utensil, I don't know if it's a spoon. Um, some instruction manuals. They do give it to you in multiple languages, which it is a lot of paper, but it is nice to have it in multiple languages, um, especially for those who might not have access to look up the instructions online. Um, and then we have the collection guide, which again, I'm not going to look at yet. I'm going to wait. I also have the little table here. Perfect. All right. You can open these up a specific way to make them like cute little bags. I don't do that because I don't need extra little like doll accessories. I have enough. <laughs> okay, so here is a pie tin. Looking good so far to be that Oreo pie. Um, actually, you know, I will show you on the collection list, actually. Sometimes I don't look at this because there's only certain ones that come with, like, this little doily, this little placemat thing. So it kind of narrows down what you got, but I'll show you what we're looking for. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, there. We are looking for this guy. Cookies and cream pie. pie. But it's an Oreo pie. Let's be real. <laughs> um, there were only two of these balls left. But I also like cookies and cream themed things. But anyway, off to a good start. Next we have... Alright. Little whipped creams. Cute, cute. Let me make a little garbage pile that my cats can play with. <laughs> they like to play with that stuff. Anyway, I don't know. Oh, see? Little whipped creams here. Look at how cute those are. This is another reason why I love the miniverse. It is just adorable. It's so tiny. Um, so cute. So again, on the right track for this being the Oreo pie. Um, we will do the utensil next. So it is a serving tray. Um, this is what all of them, all of them come with, but this is like a little pie server. All right, all right. I'm actually going to keep the garbage off in a separate pile so I can make sure I didn't miss anything wearing these gloves before I throw it away. Okay, what do we have in here? Is it Oreos? It is Oreos. Look at that. These are so cute. I don't think I'm going to be able to get them up, open up with my gloves, but that is, oops, that is so cute. Just like little Oreo halves. Oh my gosh. All right. I think this is it. I don't think that it would be anything else at this point. Yep, here's the pie crust. There we go. Let me adjust this a little bit. There we go. Here is the pie crust. And here is the resin. Awesome. Yep. So we definitely got that Oreo pie. That is so cool. I don't collect a whole lot of these, but I really wish I would have known about this hack a lot sooner. Because, even though I don't own that many, I do own a, du a duplicate of one that wasn't very exciting because, you know, I had no idea about this hack. I just bought at random. And I think I only had three balls from that series and I ended up with a duplicate, which is just disheartening. So, this hack is super cool and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> um, again, well, we just opened the one so far. So, maybe I shouldn't get too excited yet, but... Um, this one was correct, at least. Um, if I'm not, I'm not making these right away. Um, I'm actually not very good at making these. I have one of my friends help me. So, <laughs> I will do this at a later date. But I'm just going to put it away for now. While we open my, the other balls here. I think for the other balls, I'm going to go ahead and get the zipper started off camera using my fingernails. At least the top one. Um, just so it doesn't take quite as long. But I won't do the bottom one because I don't want people to think that I am 
looking to see what's in the the ball before I open it because I am not. I am solely going off of the hack. So. My kitty is saying hello. Hello, Vitani. Okay. I actually have two cats, but they're both orange, so people think that it's one cat a lot of the time. Like in my um, All My Dolls video for my American Girl dolls, a lot of comments had like singular for cat, which is fine. I mean, I don't think I said in the video that it was two different cats, but if you look closely at the pictures, it is two different cats. Um, they just look similar. They're litter mates. But yeah, that was my other one. <laughs> um, okay, so this one right here should be the dinosaur tacos. So again, I just started it off camera, but I didn't open it all the way. I still can't tell what it is in here other than using the hack. And because this one, this one isn't a pin prick. It's a little like pencil or pen mark right here. And you'd think that that would be something that could just be done. And I guess... If this goes like becomes a popular hack, people could do that and just mark them in the stores. Um, but all of the sets that I looked at only had the one mark anyway, so people hadn't done that. <laughs> um, but I guess that would be a concern, I suppose. But um, yeah, that is the mark on this one. For my dinosaur guys. Now this one, I love tacos, but I am mostly interested in the dinosaur holder, if I'm being honest. I think that is super cute. All right. Now let's get the other side. Probably driving people crazy. This is not satisfying at all <laughs> without the zipper. Sorry. Sorry about it. I can't get the zipper even when I don't have gloves on, so here we are. There we go. Okay. So this one should be the dinosaur, hopefully. So we have, again, another table. Right there. We have one. Ooh. Ice, ice. <gasps> this might not be the dinosaur. This might be wrong. Let's see. Or I might have looked at it wrong. We'll see. Let's not get too worked up yet. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. <laughs> um, this could be the dinosaur, and I just have no idea what the packaging would look like. I just don't know why it would say ice, ice. Unless that's the resin, and it's like, keep cold, maybe, I don't know. So, again, we'll just quickly show you what we're looking for. Here's a little, so this is like the version of the doily that came in the other one. Um, so we'll see. So we are looking for... We're looking for this guy right here. I did this guy. I did also pick up, hopefully, one of these guys. So maybe that is it potentially. But this should be the dinosaur if I'm remembering correctly. Okay. Anyway, the dinosaur tacos. Let's just open stuff at random again. All right, here's lettuce. That's a good sign. The lettuce. So cute. Look at how cute these things are. I'm not doing a very good job at showing you close-ups. There's lots of better videos <laughs> online. Um, I'm just seeing if this hack works. But anyway, lettuce. Um, what do we have in here? <gasps> yep, here it is. It's a dinosaur holder. Look. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what all else comes in here. We have the taco shells. Oh my gosh, this packaging is so cute. Um, hi, Danny. I also like the mini brands, but to be honest, I'm not as into the mini brands as other mini things, just because I don't like that, 
you don't get like the item. It is just the packaging, which is still really cute. And I have a few, but um, I actually collected the, um, oh God, I'll have to look up what they're called. But the, like the Shopkins, when they started doing like the real, the more realistic um, brands right around the time that mini brands kind of really got popular. And when you open them up, they had, like, a little mini, like, Shopkin of whatever was in there. And the packaging didn't look as realistic as the mini brands. And there were definitely, like, um, just, like, blacked out parts rather than having the actual words and everything. But the fact that you got the little character made it worth it. Anyway, that was a tangent here. <laughs> My point is, <laughs> I like the realism. It's cool and everything. But I like having something that you can interact with better. So if I'm going to pick, I would rather have something that has an interacting, um, component than something that is just super realistic. So um, that's one reason why I like these. I'm just never good at making them. <laughs> um, all right. Look at these little tacos. It's a little crushed, but not bad. Okay. Next we have the cheese, the cheddar cheese, shredded cheese, I guess. I don't know if it's cheddar. It's probably not. The shredded cheese. So cute. So cute. My cat is not in frame, but he is, like, close to me, and he's just looking at me like I'm crazy, but that's fine. The little beef. Taco beef. So cute. Okay, is this the resin? No, no, right? No. Let's see. I'm going to open this one. Maybe? Oh. No, this is not the resin, so it is just, like, little pellets that are supposed to look like ground beef. And I mean, it does. Ooh, it's actually, like... Oh, sorry. Put my finger... <laughs> um, it's actually, like, gummy. This one might not actually have resin, now that I think about it. Maybe that's why I was confused by the packaging. Because not all of the newer ones have, like, an actual resin. Some of them have more of this, like, sand stuff. Like, kinetic sand. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Don't you know? There we go. Okay. Next we have... Oh no, okay, this is resin. Yeah. The hot sauce. The hot sauce is the resin. So cute! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's in here? What do I get? What's my thing? What? Do I not get a utensil? I might not. I don't remember. Do I get it? Let me double check. Na, 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 na. I'm just double checking to see. No, I don't. That's fine. Because I got a lot of other really cute stuff. And you don't really need a utensil with this. So. There's actually quite a few that don't have utensils this time. The burger doesn't either. Interesting. Anyway, so cute! Okay, so, I mean, if you're keeping score at home, that is two for two on this hack. Um, it's working out pretty well. Oh, shoot. Let me put this back in. Um, oh, yeah, good. And there's another one there, too. Still. I usually like to keep the resin before I make them kind of just, like, you know, poorly wrapped back up in the packaging just to prevent it from, um curing when I don't want it to even more. Um, I do keep these in like a dark place uh, anyway, but just to be on the safe side. So there we go. There we go. Ah. Blah, 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 blah. I kind of want to put this on top of that so it doesn't, so it has less of a chance at least of get in our dinosaur, of um, being all smushed or whatever. So there we go. Perfect. All right, next up. Next up. I know I said it already. Drawing a blank, drawing a blank. Oh, next up should be the jelly. Um, I'm not like, I like your jello, jelly, jello. I don't know, the jello salad thing. The blue raspberry jello stuff. Anyway, I'm not like a huge fan of like jello salad, but I like jello. But this I thought was pretty cool because if it is the jello, then the little like jello mold that you use to actually make it can be reused. 
Not that I have resin. It's like, oh yeah, I could reuse that at a later date with all of these supplies that I don't already have. <laughs> but you know, it's the thought that counts. Um, I like the idea of this coming with, I cannot find the zipper. I'm trying to look for the bottom of it. There it is. I like the idea of this coming with um, an item that you can reuse so that it's kind of less of a, like, your one and done project. I mean, don't get me wrong, these projects are still super cute either way, but, I mean, when you're done with the project, you are done with it for the most part. Um, so, that is one reason why this one kind of interested me. And it's not the only one of this kind. Like, the Valentine's Day ones this year had, like, that chocolate mold for the chocolates. And I think there's one for, like, the springtime ones, too, that have a mold. Not the springtime ones. I don't know. There's a few different ones that have, that, like, come with molds that you use the resin in. Um, and I kind of like that a lot. So we did get one of these doily guys. That's a good sign. Um, again, we are looking for this one right here that guy i know these are perforated but i don't want to rip them <laughs> but we're looking for that guy let's see oh let me have the little table again okay so oh, here we go first one see isn't that cool like this is so cool oh my god this is super cool i'm not gonna mess with it with my gloves on too much on camera that is really awesome because you can reuse this like this is literally like a mold i don't know how often i would make jello or that i again i don't have any resin lying around but still <laughs> i could you know and it wouldn't even have to be resin you can use like school glue um and put just i do have leftovers from some of the projects i've made from miniverse i could put like i could make like a fruit um, a fruit salad, jello thing. I don't know. Anyway, super cute. I love it a lot. I'm happy with this one. And again, three for three. Looks like we're right. I'm assuming that's the resin. I'm starting to remember. Here is the little display guy. Perfect. Here is... Oh my god, I didn't know there was raspberries in it. I didn't pay that close attention. I knew there was red fruit, but I thought it was strawberries. The little raspberries and blueberries. I already have blueberries, but I don't think I have raspberries yet. That is so cute. Also, I love, I love, love, love that they have like two different like shades of the raspberry. That is so cute. Sorry, my camera is shaking a little bit. So cute. All right. I love these. They're adorable. I just don't have a lot of them, I guess. Um, all right, what do we have in here? Do we have, yep, another little server guy. And then the stuff that we always come with, the little tongs to help you make the project, and then the little cap that goes in the top of the ball. All right. And then the resin, which was already popped open a little bit, but so cute. All right. Adorable, adorable. I love mini things. Oh, I always have. This is going to age me a little bit. But I had not only the very old school Polly Pocket, um, the one where she was like this big, like herself, and then your whole house was like the size of one of these balls. Um, <laughs> but I also had... The original, like, um, what are they called? 
Pet shop. Oh my God. Littlest pet shop. Why was that so hard for me to think of? I worked today. It was a long day. Anyway, um, and I also had the original Littlest Pet Shop where the animals were like this big and you got a whole pet shop that was just tiny. That was the thing like in the early 90s um, before they were super concerned about choking hazards, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, and I love those. I love my little Littlest pet shop and my my little Polly Pockets. I had a whole town that I would line up, and of course, um, they were sold in a garage sale at some point when I was like in middle school, and I'm like, I don't need to play with this stuff anymore. Like an idiot. Ugh. It's okay. We're fine. Now I have an entire dollar room. It's fine. But yeah, I've always loved miniatures, so. On the one hand, I'm happy that I'm alive during the time that the miniatures are very popular, but on the other hand, it has not been nice to my pocketbook. Anyway. Sorry, I didn't realize that there was a size limit for my recordings. Interesting. Anyway. Um, uh, this next ball should be the big potatoes. Now, this one, I don't believe, comes with resin. I don't think that this one has actual resin in it. I think this one has the kinetic sand. Oh, I forgot to show you. Oh, I might have broken it already. So this one, this series, has the little pinprick. You can barely see it right above my thumb here. That little tiny pinprick and the location of the pinprick. I, don't, I didn't show you where the location was. For the jelly, I'm sorry. But anyway, this one's a pinprick right here. Um, and depending on where the pinprick is, that is supposed to tell you what is in here. And again, we're three for three, so it seems to be working thus far. Let me see if I can just find it quick. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, here we go, I did find it quick, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. So this was the little marking for the jelly. And again, for this series, it was more of like a pencil-y kind of looking mark. But for this one, it's a pinprick. So, all right. But again, I will be flashing that on screen when there is a lull in what I'm doing or saying. And I will include the links as well. Now, one downside of this hack is that, at least where I was looking, and I might have missed it, which is fine if I did. I spent enough money already. But um, they didn't have the same type of hack for the uh, lifestyle, the first wave, the first, um, the first series for that. Which is kind of disappointing because I wanted to try to find like one of those like aquariums or whatever. Um, they did have all of the weights because that's something that I know that people have done where like they'll weigh the ball because depending on what's in the ball, it has different weights. Um, and that helps because it will help narrow it down even if some of the balls have like the same weight as any other one. Um, you're not looking compared to all of them. It's just all the ones that have the same weight. Anyway, I don't want to personally do that. I just don't want to bring a scale. I just don't have a very good scale anyway, and I don't want to buy one um, just for that, because I don't, I'm not a completionist for these anyway, um, with any of the mystery bags or mystery boxes, mystery packaging, whatever, unless it's pretty easy, easier than this even. Oh, sorry. I pulled it off screen. Sorry. Um easier than this even to figure out such as the nananas which they tell you what's in there or the zombies which have a number printed on them i'm not usually going to go out of my way to like find all of the different hacks to be a completionist for the mystery bags um even these ones i'm gonna be honest i left work a little early today i had to i had to comp time but anyway um, so 
I got to my Target before school was out, so the toy aisle was pretty barren. Um, it was pretty empty of people. Otherwise, I might not have spent the time that I did looking to find these little tiny pinpricks and marks. Personally, I mean, mad respect to anyone who does. I just, I don't know, I get... It's not even embarrassed. I just don't like being around people for that long. <laughs> Doing that type of thing. Whereas with, like, the zombies, I can just look at the bottom, look at the number, we're good. Um, and then same with the na na nas that has a symbol on it. But anyway, here we go. I'm not going to open the guide, because I feel like that's going to be a big giveaway. We are looking for baked potatoes. It's pretty straightforward. All right. All right. We have a plate. Not a bad sign. Not like, oh my god, this is it, but not a bad sign. And we have, are these chives? Are these chives? Are these chives? <gasps> we have chives. Yes. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Yep. Here we go. And they even come in this tin foil. That is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> All right. I should have a utensil with these. I think like a fork. Yep, here he is sticking out. Fork. And the regular things that we get. Perfect. And again, I think this is kinetic sand. Oh, sour cream is so cute. I think I'm just looking at this closer. Happy sun cream or sour cream. I think this is technically kinetic sand, but I don't want to open it all up right now. That's not my jam. Right now. That's not what this video is about. Although, just in case, I am going to put that away. <laughs> um, all right. Super cute. Do we not? Oh, we don't get plates. We don't get tables in these. That's right. I forgot. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Just in case. Keep that in there. I'm pretty sure it's kinetic sand, but I would be... Really upset if I was wrong and it, you know, solidified. All right. Last one. We are four for four. And this one should be the s'mores. Which I know is like notoriously hard to actually put together because you can't usually get the UV lights to shine um, between the layers. But I like s'mores. So I wanted it anyway. Plus, I don't know when I'm actually going to make these. We'll see. Oh, God. Uh, I tried. Oh, that works. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. So, there's another... Sticky one, not sticky, but tricky one. Oh, why is it sticky? Here we are. Come on, come in. There we go. Oh, there we go. The only satisfying zip this whole video. Wow. And it was the last one. Perfect timing. Go. All right. I forgot where... Oh, the s'mores. <laughs> I just said it. We are looking for the s'mores. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Now this... That one is actually resin if it's the s'mores. All right. S'more... Okay. S'more, s'more, marshmallows. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the s'mores. So cute. I kind of like, I'm not going to open this right now, but they're like flatter than usual. Interesting. So they fit nicely on this more. All right. And the graham crackers. Oh my God, look at the sun's face. Oh, so cute. I'm not even looking at the things yet. Uh, oh, so cute. <gasps> It's so cute. I'm not even in frame very well. I'm sorry. It's so cute. Oh, no, no, chocolate bar. Okay. Oh, keep it together. Oh, 
Oh, a little tray. I thought that interesting. But it's still cute because it's tiny. All right. Um, does this one have a... I didn't show you the pinprick on this one again. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. Clearly, I'm really good at this. Let's see if I can find it. Maybe not. I don't think I'll be able to find that one. I'm sorry. It'll be on the screen. You saw what the pink prick looked like for the um for the baked potatoes. I am just going to double check here and make sure we don't have a utensil that I am missing. I almost got these guys too. The little choco bears. So cute. Um, but I didn't. So we have... Actually, they're right above each other. The s'mores. Or sorry, wow. <laughs> the baked potatoes. And the s'mores. Do I do one got? Perfect. Not these ones. Perfect. Oh, duh, I was doing something. Oh my god, I should not film right after work. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. My job. I don't, I'm not going to say what it is here. But I have to think a lot. I have to think very hard. I'll probably tell you someday. It's not that interesting. It's medically related. But um, I think a lot at my job. <laughs> so sometimes when I get home, my brain's right. Anyway, so now it doesn't look like we have any um, utensils. All right, perfect. Again, I'm going to check all this stuff after I turn the camera off, when I take my gloves off, just to be sure that I'm not throwing something away by accident, but... Oh, the little chocolate sauce! I'm really glad that they give you the chocolate bars and the chocolate sauce with this. Um, I mean, they could have just given me the chocolate sauce, like the resin, without having the bar, but I'm glad that they gave you the bar, too, because a lot of the times when you look at a s'more, the bar hasn't completely melted. Unless you burn the marshmallow like I do, then it gets pretty hot. But you know what I mean? So I, I do appreciate that they that they gave you that the extra step of actually giving you the chocolate bar as well. That was nice. All right. Anyway, there we are. We are five for five. It looks like this hack works pretty well. Now, if it doesn't, for you, sorry about it. Don't get mad. It is what it is. <laughs> But that is really cool. Um, again, it does require you to kind of look closely at things and, um, you know, look for the pin pricks for... Oh, here we go. I found it. Sorry, sidetracked. Here is the pin prick for the s'mores right there. And again, because of the location next to the, um, next to the soup there on the picture, there's like a guide that I will have linked. Um... That tells you like what lines up with what. But yeah, you look for the little pin mark. Because if I compare this to... Oh, I probably won't be able to. I think I ripped that one pretty well. Anyway. There you go. That was the one for the s'mores. But here is a great hack. If you collect the mini verses and you are tired of getting a bunch of doubles. Again, it may not be perfect. I don't know. I didn't buy like every single one. Because I don't want every single one. Um, but for the ones that I did buy, five for five, five for five. So that is impressive for it. I mean, I guess usually the hacks are pretty good, but I feel like for this kind of hack, since it's just like a special marking on the packaging, I don't know. It always feels too good to be true. And then I'm disappointed, but this time... I am not, and it is really cool, and I'm really excited about it. Thanks again for watching my video, especially if you watched the whole thing. And thanks for understanding about my gloves. I know it's kind of weird. They have grippies, but um, here we are. Just have gloves on sometimes. Um, please, I don't I think this might be the first time I'm asking this, but please like and subscribe if you like random toy videos about stuff. So far I've only made long doll videos until now. Um, I also make a lot of cat shorts because my cats do cute things. Um, 
but you know it's my first mini verse video i just kind of just want to make videos about things that make me happy so anyway like and subscribe if that sounds fun <laughs> if you want to just hang out with me and yeah thanks for watching if you did have a good rest of your day bye, -bye.